All right, today we're going to go over the scientific notation uh, lesson. So we're going to click that. I'm going to click my cheat sheet, right? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay. So. So with this, right? So I'm actually going to skip the do now. So getting things in scientific notation, right? So let's say we have five point six times ten to the four. You just click this. So let's say we have these two uh, numbers right here. It's also on your cheat sheet, right? So let's say we want to convert this on, uh, into expanded form, right? So we have our number in scientific notation right here, and we want we want an expanded form. Well, this four right here, right? That four, the exponent tells you how many places I should move my decimal. Now, because again, you're gonna this is a positive exponent, you're actually gonna move your decimal place to the right. So this exponent says four, you're gonna move it four spaces to the right. And so in each of these spaces, you're gonna have a zero. And your final answer here in an expanded format is 56,000. That comma right there is a comma. That's not a period, that's not a decimal. Now on the other hand, if you have a negative exponent, right, if you have a negative exponent here, well, we wanna move the decimal to our left. And the easy way to think about it is, well, if we have a negative exponent, our number should be less than one. And well, how do we get a number that's less than one? Well, we have to move it this way, right? To the left here. So we're gonna move it five spaces. And so that's five, so that's zero, 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 and zero. And that's decimal over there. All right, so that's 0 0.00000971. And now alternatively, going back to 56,000 here, right? This positive exponent of positive four well, you know that since it's a positive exponent, the final number should be greater than one. Well, how do you get a number greater than one? Well, you have to move the decimal to the right. If you move your decimal to the left, right? If you move your decimal to the left here, well, you're gonna get a number that's, uh, well, not really greater than one. And it wouldn't work like that. There's no way it would work. That way it would work. And that's how you resolve how you get numbers into expanded form. So let's do these uh, practice problems here real quick. And so let's do 4.1 times 10 to the 2. All right, so our positive exponent is 2, right? So it's positive. I mean, it's, it's a number that should be greater than 1. And how do, we, how do we achieve that? Well, we have to move it to the right. So we'll move it two spaces because our positive exponent is 2. And this becomes 410, right? So we have the 0 over here. Now, going into uh, example problem B, our, exa our exponent here is negative, which means our number should be less than one. Well, how do we achieve a number less than one? Well, we actually have to move it uh, to the left here, right? And so our number here becomes 0, 0, uh, 6, 8. And, and don't mind this zero in front of the decimal there. Right, a zero always goes in front of a decimal. That's I know I had only two zeros here. I know I know we only had two zeros there, but I only added a third zero there because there's always a zero in front of that decimal. That's always how you write it. So just keep in mind that my decimal is still over here, and I'm just putting a zero in front just because there should always be a zero in front. That's the correct way to write it. And so our, pos our example problem C, our positive exponent here is 4. And we want our number to be greater than 1 because it's positive. So we're going to move it to the right because that's the only way we're going to get a number greater than 1. So now we have 448,700. And that's not what I intended. Okay. So let's move on to the fifth, I mean, rather, D, example problem D. All 
And since it's a negative number, the number should be less than one. And how do we achieve a number less than one? Well, we actually have to move it to the left here. All right, so that's going to give us, again, I'm putting a zero in front of the decimal. I'm putting zero in front of the decimal. So zero, 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 um, zero, six, four, five. Hopefully that was good enough. Let's move on. Now, again, when we're dividing by powers of 10, what you actually have to do is have to, you have to flip the operation and you flip the sign. So if you're dividing by 10 to the third power, well, you're actually going to multiply by 10 to the negative third, right? You're flipping the sign of your exponent. Don't just do multiply by 10 to the three. That's wrong. You're multiplying by 10 to the negative three. You're flipping the exponent. And this is also holds true. This also holds true if you're actually dividing this okay if you're doing 4.56 divide by 10 to the negative 4 well this becomes 4.56 again we're multiplying instead 10 to and well what's the opposite of this sign right here this negative sign well it's a positive 4 this time so you're multiplying by the flip sign all right so now let's how, learn how to convert numbers into scientific notation Right. Wanna... So step one is always, well, you're going to move your decimal point uh, to the right or left until there's only one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal point. Right, so your first non-zero digit here is two, which means you want to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces behind the two. Now, because you moved eight spaces, your exponent is going to be eight. But because this number is greater than one, right? Clearly 230 million is greater than one. Your exponent should be positive. So we write 2.13 times 10 to the positive eight. On the other hand, if our, if our exponent, if our number is less than one, which 0 0.00872 is clearly is, and we move our decimal place three spaces behind our first non-zero digit. Well, well then our exponent here is going to be negative because our, our number is less than one. Right? It's going to be greater than one. It's going to be a positive exponent. Less than one is going to be a negative exponent. Right? This number right here. So let's do a few example problems, all right? Let's do this. And always refer to the cheat sheet, right? So the cheat sheet has pretty much all the examples and step-by-step step -by -step, uh, step -step problem solving. Right, so we have 7,870, right? There's a decimal point there. Always at the end, if you don't see anything, you're gonna move it behind the first non-zero digit. The first non-zero digit is seven, so you're gonna have 7.87. .87. Well, how many places did you move it? You moved it three places. Well, is this gonna be a positive or negative exponent? Clearly, this number is greater than one, so you're gonna have a positive exponent, so you're gonna have positive three. And, and so B, the first non-zero digit is four. You're gonna move your decimal place two spaces behind the four, to a 4.91. And because this number is less than one, and we move the two spaces, well, we're gonna have a negative exponent, an exponent negative two. Same thing here, there's a decimal there, right? So you have 8.73, you move the two spaces, it's greater than one, so you're gonna have a positive exponent of two. Two, three, four, you move the four spaces, 5.8 uh, times 10 to the negative four because again your number is less than one All right and that's that that's it that's it that's the that's the that's the lesson